Hello, happy Friday. It's Friday, yay. How's it going? Linnea here with Linnea's Cozy Crafts, and my hair is bugging the you-know-what out of me again. Oh, it was totally not doing that earlier. Ugh. Okay, so how's everybody's Friday going so far? Mine's going good. I'm just waiting to hear from WTA today and telling me that I've been added to the driver pool. Yes, that's what we're going to believe for. Yes, y'all are going to agree with me, right? Right. Okay, we've got a new member or a new comfy chair friend, as I call y'all now. And their name is, I might butcher it. I'm sorry if I do. It's Art. Artisanate, Artisanate Beauty, Om Asme. I'll put it down in my description box because I just know I butchered it. Anyway, welcome to my channel and thank you to those who have been with me a while and sticking with me. So we have an almost finished whip here. This is the Test Knit that I've been working on since February 8th, excuse me, February 18th is the day or the evening that I cast on, pardon me a minute, and I finished knitting two, I'm thinking, sorry, maybe it was Wednesday, no, Wednesday is when I, yes, Wednesday. Wednesday, I finished all the knitting. Well, the knitting so far, anyway. The pieces. And then um, I did the shoulders. Shoulder seams Wednesday evening. And then I did... I sewed up the side seams yesterday. And isn't it pretty? I have to knit the neckline yet. That's why I say I'm not quite done with the knitting but she has you put the neckline on after you've got the sleeve set in but look at those seams can't even see them perfect don't you just love the color combo i'm really loving this color combo it's so pretty and then i also when i do the neckline i have to put a um i have to knit an i-cord loop for this side and then attach the button over here which I have to choose a button I'm not sure what button I'm going to choose yet I've got tons of buttons but it gives a little keyhole opening on the back I will model this once I get it done I'm hoping to have it finished today because I want to wear it for date night tonight so there's that and I put it in this bag because I wanted to separate it from the pet blanket whip that I've got going which I will show you next there so last night I started making the extension for the block that's not quite long enough or wide enough I mean wide enough it's too narrow so what I did, what, and I should have done it in um, all garter stitch, but whatever. It's for our pets. It doesn't matter. Um, see, I'm working on my perfectionism. Um, so what I did was I picked up stitches along here, and then I purled back. Well, and one over here, sorry. Then the first stitch over here. And then I purled back, and then on the next pass, the knit stitch row, I picked up and knit the next stitch over here. So that's what I'm doing. Every knit row, I pick up an added stitch. So this time, I will pick this stitch up right here. Can you see that? Right here, and I'm doing it. When I pick them up, I'm picking them up in the back loop. So it gives this nice ridge. I don't know if you can see that or not. Can you see it? See that nice ridge? Maybe you can't see the ridge. I don't know. There we go. There. Now you can see it. See that ridge right here? Yeah. So that's how you make a ridge when you're picking up stitches. It just adds a little visual interest. 
But I'm going to go back to my top and set in the sleeves and sew the seam sleeves and then finish that up. But I just, I didn't, my eyes were tired last night and I didn't, just did not have the energy for more setting in things or seaming, however you want to say it. So this one is now the only thing in my Jane Wynn bag. Jane Wynn Tinkerbell. Speaking of Jane Wynn, Scraptastic Yarns, please pray for strength and comfort and peace for her and healing for Thomas, her husband. He's been taken to Williamsport Hospital and placed in the ICU unit because of a blood clot. Um, I can't remember exactly where the blood, where the blood clot is, but, um, it's, yeah, very scary. So please join me in prayer for Thomas's well-being and healing and for Jane for comfort, peace and strength and courage. Sometimes you have to advocate for your spouse when they can't advocate for themselves or they're advocating for themselves but no one is listening been there done that anyone else been there done that rhetorical question unless you want to answer you don't have to give me the circumstances just say yep been there done that okay um let's see what else do we have today i think that's it i do i do i do is that it Jax? Do we have anything else? He's thinking it over. I measured him last night. Oh my gosh, y'all. Okay. So the other night, you can see this on my Instagram account. Um, it's in the reel. The first time I ever used the reels, R-E-E-L-S. Um, I was rubbing his... Uh, don't. You be nice. Um, I was rubbing his belly and I thought, I'm going to measure him because he was... He is so long. His legs are so long. And so I measured him all stretched out because he was completely stretched out. I measured him from the base of his tail to the top of his little head here. 28 and a half inches long. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Crazy. And then last night I measured him. He was not all stretched out. I just finally got to measure him regular. And he's... 24 and a half inches in length. I didn't even think he was that long. He's going to be a big boy. And then I measured his legs and I, I, 10 and a half inches, I think. I should have written it down, but I think, is that what mama said last night? That your legs are 10 and a half inches long? I think so, huh? Yeah, he said, yeah. He did his, he did his, that means yes with him. I've learned that. Yeah. He's a good boy. Isn't he pretty? Look at that good boy. He's gorgeous. Say hi to everybody. Say hi to the comfy chair friends. Look at the camera. Oh, he's not in the mood to be sociable. Except for with me. All right. I will see you all later. I love you all. Remember to be kind. And to be blessed and stay blessed. I will see you all soon. Ciao for now. Mwah.